this video is to show how to put a room inside a room. The only way I'm aware to do this is to start with the interior room. I'm going to select that room, hold the control key down. Go out however far the surrounding room is. I'm just going to make this a smaller area. And now I'm just grabbing the handles and stretching this room around the other. So far, pretty straightforward, yeah? Now I'm going to go beyond whatever the distance is. And you'll notice this is where a lot of people get stuck doing this. The system does not want these two walls to meet. No big deal. You can make it any space you want in here. All we're going to do is use the wall tool. Connect the gap. Now we have three separate rooms. Delete these two walls. I'm going to select both of the outside rooms. In this case we're treating the inside room as one and the outside room as one. Just right click anywhere in the blue and go to combine. Uh, this is now a sub room. This room three here. Our variables for room two are going to be correct. We can call this living room or whatever it is. I happen to not like the clutter and the confusion that this subroom label presents so I'm just going to go into the properties of it select show label no and now I've got whatever this is safe room and then I've got my living room going around so when I go over to the tree anytime I estimate walls and ceiling for living room it'll do the entire walls and ceiling for the main and the subroom. Floor variables are going to be correct. Everything's going to be right. So, just giving you some ideas. Hopefully, this uh, is useful to you. Any other questions? Please email me at chris at topadjuster.com. I'd love the chance to help.